This video is sponsored by Truco Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report Today, May 14th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Sunspot Region AR3664 is not done yet. It just produced an X-Class 8.7 solar flare. This is the largest solar flare of the entire solar cycle. What an 8.7 flare occurred from NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center's Region 3664. A flare is an eruption of energy from the sun that generally lasts minutes to hours. Flares of this magnitude are not frequent. The flare peaked at 1651 UTC time. Corrected for magnitude X8.7, they first called it an X8.8. Users of high-frequency radio signals may experience temporary degradation or complete loss of signal on much of the sun-lit side of Earth. Region 3664, not done yet, produces X8.7 flare, largest of solar cycle. This was put out at 1729 UTC time. Region AR3664 produced yet another X-ray flare as it moves beyond the western solar limb. This time, it was an 8.7 X flare, the largest of the solar cycle. Due to its location, any coronal mass ejection associated with this flare will likely not have any geomagnetic impact on Earth. As always, stay tuned for updates. And, ladies and gentlemen, we've actually had three X flares already today this being by far the strongest an x 8.7 solar flare unbelievable good thing this was not earth facing when it did occur now sunspot ar3664 is almost all eclipsed by the limb of our sun so this was most probably a much stronger solar flare than an X 8.7 solar flare. This is how GOES X-ray picked it up, but it was more than partially eclipsed by our solar limb. Headed over to spaceweatherlive.com, they're calling this last flare an X 8.79. Current value an M 2.28. 99% chance of C-class solar flares, 60% chance of M-class solar flares, and a 25% chance of X-class solar flares, which we've already had three of. AR3664 produced an X1.6, an X1.2, and now an X8.79 solar flare that has not been assigned to the Sunspot group yet. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the actual explosion on GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager. And again, you can see that AR3664 is completely eclipsed by the limb of our sun here. But it looks like we had a sympathetic large solar flare come out of 3680 right after the X8.78 flare. We also have three, six, nine, uh, 12, 13 earth facing sunspots and several more coming around the limb. Heading over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms, we first see the X flare and it looks like it heads right towards Earth and would have an Earth component on it. A lot of these explosions on the far limb do have an Earth component on it, even though they're not facing Earth because of our geomagnetic connection to that limb. We also see a large solar flare pop off from AR3680 just after the large X flare. 
This one has not even been mentioned yet, but definitely a large long-term solar flare. Now, I also want to mention that we're still back into a proton storm here. It does look like it's trying to subside, but after that X flare and the other flare out of AR3680, uh, this proton storm could continue. Protons mean radiation pouring in our poles. Headed over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we can see also that we're still in a polar cap absorption event, meaning we have radiation pouring in our poles in the form of X-rays and protons. This is one of the X-flares here that we've already been hit by. Now, when we're seeing that kind of hit from a sunspot that's supposed to be around the limb, we must be getting that energy through that geomagnetic connection. And I'm not so sure that this won't be geoeffective towards Earth. That's not the large flare. This is the large flare here. It's the X8.78 solar flare, the very largest solar flare of the entire solar cycle. We're all blessed that this was not Earth-facing. When it occurred, it has been downgraded from an 8.8, .8, but just slightly. This covered all of North America, including Canada, all of the Atlantic, most all of South America, and a large part of the Pacific Ocean. An unbelievable solar flare. Now, we also have AR3680 coming around the limb here. And that was the flare that occurred just after the large X8.78 solar flare that came out of AR3680. Looks like we have another sunspot that's going to be shooting out X-rays. This one hasn't been mentioned or recorded anywhere, but we could visually see it on GOES. And that also was over Central and North America, obviously Central America is part of North America, the Caribbean, and much of the Pacific. With that said, God bless each and every one of you guys. This is far from over. This has just started. Keep your tinfoil hats on. Please share our videos. Please subscribe. And always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.